Welcome to my uh, hometown of Varna, Bulgaria. Right now I'm just coming back from my grandma, who's an 83 years old person. Who's uh, one of the healthiest people I know in my life. She's a, she's a very wise person. Uh, we talked about the importance of journaling and how great it is for people to uh, um, how it helps elderly with memory, how it helps elderly with uh, uh, with being um, with remembering and uh, with dementia and so on. So it's uh, it was very very awesome and enjoyable time with her to spend there. I always go to her house whenever I'm back, and uh, she's in the neighborhood of. Uh, of, of Chaika, Bulgaria um, and it's just beautiful to see you know it kind of like reminds me of so many memories when I used to go to school here He's, everybody now is going to school to the school that I used to go um, as a kid my secondary school and uh, it's a beautiful time after after everything that happened in my life in the past few months I'm very grateful to be here and uh, I'm very relaxed um, so Varna, Bulgaria, it's a it's a great town to visit. It's a part of uh, Bulgaria was a part of communism in until 1989, and uh, some of the buildings that you see behind me are still from those times, from the communism times, and why they've been built here, uh, why these buildings are have so many flats in them and apartments, is because. Back in communism times, um, the government would build these buildings that we see here and they will fit in so many people from the villages and the reason why they, they would build them is because they wanted to send people from the villages to the city so they can improve the economy of those cities, so they can start working and they can improve the economy. And there was a revolution of, uh, for example, metal, metal work, uh, construction and so on. and. What they've done here is so many people that were from the villages moved to the cities and they they build those cities together um, in communism times but after communism these same buildings with these same apartments they were sold to the people of bulgaria so they if you've lived in that apartment you basically get the apartment for yourself essentially and what happens is through generations these apartments stay there because for example uh like through the generation someone would would acquire the apartment and then they would sell it uh, they would uh, bring it as a as a will to their kids and so on uh, and then when this when this happens basically um, these apartments stay alive like this and you know some some people sell them some don't but the buildings stay as they are and as you see there's so many differences in uh, how people put windows and so on in different colors is because different they are now privately owned and they're no longer um, in ownership of the country Bulgaria and the government so it is a very interesting concept here which you can't see anywhere uh, in most the most Euro Eastern European countries that have been through communism but you, it, you can see the you can see the, um, the 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 signs of communism in 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 in, in, in these countries because even though we are now in, in democracy since 1989 you can see a lot of the buildings and a lot of the things here are built because they want to they wanted to get people together and one of the biggest buildings actually in town is here and i'll show you right now how long it is so look so for example this building right here as you see this uh orange building look how long it is look how long it's like you can't even see it's like near the sign this is the same building. It is one of the biggest ones. It's called actually, uh, they call it the Chinese Wall because it's so long. And uh, its name is called Chinese Wall. And it's and then a guy, another building like this as well here. As you see right near it, um, these buildings are as part of the communism at the time. So very interesting city, very interesting thing to see because it's not very common in, in other Western cultures. and other countries and even in, in in southern countries and in america and so on 
it's very very interesting to see so uh, i encourage everyone to go and see like a country that has been through communism because it's uh it's fascinating it's fascinating um but without further ado i'm going back to my my home right now my grandma lives about five minutes walk from me so uh 10 minutes walk from me so i'm just gonna go and uh just have a coffee and relax today's my day off so it's going to be it's going to be nice and then i'm heading off to the uk on friday so um it's going to be great so right now i'm near a stadium which is called uh stadium teacher uh black sea and it's basically for football it's over here you enter and then you're in the stadium um but without further ado i wish you to have an amazing day go back home and relax right now.